Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have EGLD Elrond Gold daily update. We are going to see next price targets, where are we going and what is happening and we can go even further upwards, push our way into the previous high. Before we continue, join the monthly subscription. I have the link in the description down below. Buy me a coffee slash mind your crypto. You will get easy profits and of course, an automated system and a manual system with buying and selling opportunities. You will know exactly when to buy and exactly when to sell your altcoins, but doesn't stop there. You will also get personal guidance every day, educational videos, become expert in the technical analysis and random giveaways, market updates and many, many more benefits. Find the link in the description and cancel anytime you like. Also join our Telegram group chat, hit the like button, subscribe if you like the content. Let's go right now to see a little bit of EGLD. As you can see, we found resistance level in this area, 252, 258, a very, very strong resistance area. It is the 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level and we were close to getting upwards, but at the same time, Bitcoin was going a little bit down. It corrected. That's why we couldn't pa get past above the 258 and we stopped right there. What is the future right now for EGLD and where are we going? Can we go even higher? We will discuss everything, every detail. Let's see a little bit of the volume. It is decreasing. Now it starts to increase a little bit, but in overall from the 23rd September, you can see it is decreasing here. It was a very, very high volume, but in overall, you can see the moving average right now down at your screen. It is going down from here as well. 23rd September, it's going all the way down. Okay, so let's go a little bit to the MACD. We keep going and getting some higher lows, higher high pattern. You can see right here for the MACD, this is absolutely very, very good. And we, this is what we want actually to see some higher lows. We do not care about this bearish cross as long as we are keep getting upwards. Let's go a little bit to the 4-hour frame and the risk metrics. And right now, what we are seeing is the stochastic RSI. The stochastic RSI that it is going down into an oversold situation on the 4-hour frame. This is good. However, the RSI is not into an oversold situation, but that is very, very good. The fact that we are going down into an oversold with the Komoot Channel Index and we are already in an oversold with the stochastic RSI, it is the best. Okay. So that's what we want. We want the price to go a little bit sideways and the stochastic RSI to fall down. But we are mainly focusing on this RSI and the Komoot Channel Index for EGLD. Let's go a little bit to the daily frame. We will just remove the drawings right here. We had a buying opportunity according to the SSL hybrid, not a selling opportunity yet. You can see here we didn't have any selling opportunity yet for EGLD. We will see how this will play out for the time being. If I close a little bit the SSL hybrid, we will see, you will see that we almost had, we almost had just for one cent, we almost had top tweezers. Okay. So the high here was 255 and here it was 254.99. Okay. So if we had top tweezers, then this would be very, very bad. We would go all the way down for sure, or we would have a massive correction right here for the time being. Okay. This is good. But at the same time, we do not want for the daily frame to be closed as a bearish engulfing candlestick right there. Okay. On the daily frame, you will see that the stochastic RSA is in an overbought while on the four hour frame in an oversold. And of course we do not hold any significant uh, risk on the RSI and the Komoot channel index. This is good, but at the same time, Stochastic RSI is in an overbought. So the 4-hour frame is better than the daily frame right there. Let, let's see a little bit the, the EGLD Bitcoin chart. You can see we are a little bit down from the 50-day EMA, a little bit down the price is from the 50-day EMA. And of course, we might be having a correction here in the bearish cross between the 20-day and the 50-day EMA. If you want me to, I can find you some support level Levels, some major support levels and the next uh, target we have for EGLD, the next target is around at the 0 0.30589 around there, around this area. Okay. And so we have now as a support level, the 0 0.618, because we closed below the 0 0.5, this one right here. Okay. The 0 0.204959, we have it as a support level. Let's see if we stop around here. It is very possible to stop around this area and from there to go a little bit even higher on the four, four hour frame. 
we want to see this we want to see this for etld against bitcoin chart and as you can see right here we are having a lower high pattern and a higher low eventually we are getting into a squeeze point we hope that we can break upwards for etld bitcoin chart on the daily frame we are still pretty pretty fine we are having the lower high and the higher low trend that we were seeing beyond let's go from this top right here around there and to this bottom we are having actually a squeeze point okay we are getting into a very interesting squeeze point for egld or if you want me to i can draw it from here to there i think this is more precise uh drawing right here for the lines and we are getting the squeeze point and we hope that we can go upwards let's see if we remain uh, uh, if we retain actually the 20 day ema as a support level we can go now to the price analysis and here what i will do is that i will remove the drawing and i will back i will go back to the fibonacci retracement from this bottom right here to this top you can see that the second support level was at 235 we were right there and we found huge buying pressure and now we have some lower support levels in case we go a little bit further down my honest opinion about etld is that we are going to see the next price target and we are going up to the next price target okay i think that we will be going to the 274 and we have some price targets right here some resistance levels if i draw the fibonacci from the top to the bottom you can see that i think that we can go to the 0.786 which is also the minus 0.236 fibonacci retracement you can see it here the two lines collide so i do think i do believe we will be going to 274 from there we need to go even even higher to surpass the previous high 300 tether usd but for now let's see how far down can we go because we have only the stochastic are saying an oversold and it has more room to correct but I, I do believe i really do believe due to the technical analysis and based on what i'm seeing and non-biased technical analysis stuff i think that we can go to the 275 tether usd this is our next price target for egld okay 283 290 and of course we have the high right here 302 tether usd to 3 and of course we have the minus 0 0.786 in case we go after in in the previous high for egld okay but right now you can see that we have the egld right here that i do believe uh we might be getting into the 227 but this area around there is a very good buying opportunity for egld okay in the short mid term especially towards the mid term but in the short term as well so i do believe this is the best area of buying egld and of course i believe that we can go even higher to the next price target the 274 and of course the 200 and 83 which is our next next price target but we will see eventually if we can make these here all these areas support level then we can go even even higher for the time being let's take it step by step and have the 274 as the next price target right now bitcoin is correcting a little bit just going sideways actually not a much of a correction you can see here that we are in an oversold on the stochastic side everything is very very good etld right here 235 the first support level and i really do believe that we might be going to 227 if we are about to go there or we stop at the 235 and we go upwards okay because i really think that egld can go further upwards to the 275 the next price target okay so before we close the video join the month subscription i have the link in the description down below buy me a cough slash mind your crypto you will get easy easy profits and random giveaways and many many more benefits you can check them out on the site as well and hit the like button subscribe thank you see you soon with many many more videos bye